Welcome back to episode two of our race to get the most states. The rules are simple. The team that visits and claims the most US states by doing a challenge from their hand of cards in four days wins. Eight hours into day one, Ben and Adam have claimed New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. Brian and I have DC, Virginia, and Maryland, but maybe not for long. If a team has claimed two states bordering one of their opponent's states, they can enter the enemy territory and declare a battle to steal their state, which is exactly what Ben and Adam just did in Maryland. The battle is. The battle is. Okay, here are the rules of our first battle. At the end of 15 minutes, the team to find a license plate from a state or country furthest from their current location wins. The distance is measured from the location the plate was spotted to the closest point in that state or country. Oh, we're in a good spot for this. There's a, there's a garage. Oh, we're in a very good spot for this, Ben. Let's go! Okay, so I got. We're just talking about some time. Okay, so we're um, we're at a train station. It's you know it's a it's a hub. It's a travel hub. Yeah, seems like it would be a good place. What is that? That's Maryland. Okay, Maryland, Maryland. I know where that is? That's Maryland. That's all Maryland. Can we go down into the parking garage? Is there a parking garage? I think there is. There's a parking garage. Let's do that. Well, yes. Okay, that's a lot of cars. Great. That was retail and residential. Residential only. I feel like retail's gonna have. Yeah, residential will be all around here. Here we go. Here we go. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. New Jersey. A little further. Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. Go to Colorado. Colorado? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. That's almost the whole other side of the US. Delaware. Delaware. Virginia. Go, oh, Virginia. We need like a California. I mean, California's, I mean, Washington, I guess Washington State would be the, oh, don't tell me. That's, oh, no, no, oh, damn it. I thought that was the Alaska one, but I remember Virginia has a no step on snake plate too. Remember, we need to keep a mental note of where the good ones are. Ooh, California. California. Yes. That's great. Ooh, there's Washington. There's Texas here. We already got Washington. Virginia. Maryland. I have seen plenty of Hawaiian plates in continental US because sometimes like you know, people ship their cars back and forth. Uh, Alaska too. So there's still a shot that we can get better in Washington. Well, that's great. That was a really strong start. Maryland. Iowa. Iowa. That's Maryland. Massachusetts, actually. Maryland. Oh, it is? Maryland. Something feels very illegal about just walking around just filming license plates. Actually, I think our luck might have turned. Uh, Turns out they're further to both Washington and California. So if they managed to get either, we're screwed. Oh. Oh, and I just know they found a California one. There's so many Californians. Yeah. California. Oh! California. I mean, come on. It's it's not gonna be better than that. Let's hope. If this person comes for their for their car, we have to implore them to not leave. <laughs> Okay. All right, it's time. Here they are. Present to us your plate. What, what is, is that? that? I think it's California. I can't see it. Oh, f You guys also found a California? Found a California? But you're closer to California, aren't you? Yeah, we know. We have the same, but you're closer. God damn it. Fine, bye. I hate you. All right, well. The state of Maryland is ours. A battle well fought. A battle well fought, gentlemen. I hate this. Yes. I hate this game. I'm not listening to them. Ben and Adam, I'm striking. We've claimed the state of Maryland. We have battled them for it valiantly, and we have succeeded. Ah, but now, now we have nine minutes to make our train to New York. We have, you know, we're busy people. We got places to be. We got states to claim. We're going back to New York. <laughs> what do we do now? Because we only have two and a half hours left, so I don't know if we can get on a flight. 
Maybe we fly to New York, back back to New York. Right now? Yeah, because uh, then we're like right next to Connecticut. You might be wondering why and how we want to claim Connecticut. Well, let me take you back to a magical time called two hours ago. Why would we go north, east, when we have all these cards in the west? If we get Connecticut and Massachusetts, we can start a battle challenge on New York, which is where we'd want to go anyway to get flights from Connecticut. So the only two that we can do easily are win a prize from a claw machine and ship this card. They're going to start a battle challenge soon on Maryland, mm -hmm. almost guaranteed. Yeah, I think so. And we don't want to be on a flight during that. Yeah. So delaying ourselves a bit by wasting time shipping the card yeah. is kind of a good thing. I think so. So should we do that? I think so. UPS. UPS store. My cover story is my colleague Brian McManus is currently traveling in New Haven and I have to overnight documents to him, right? They're not going to question what we're sending. It's be like it's, it's a f***ing playing card that we're shipping for fun. I, where so are we shipping it to? I'm thinking New Haven, because that's right on the Amtrak line in Connecticut. OK, back to the present, where we're on a train to the airport in a desperate attempt to fly as close to New Haven, Connecticut as we can. Shout out to Lockheed Martin. I love Lockheed Martin. They really help us spread democracy. Well, if you're wondering why we're having difficulties, it's because of this. Literally, almost every single flight is delayed. Delayed, 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 delayed. So there's no flight back up north tonight. And I mean, there aren't other forms of transit that could take someone north, right? We're hopping on a train back to New York, where we started. And that'll get in right as the day is ending. The logic there is basically that New England is still wide open. It would be insane to leave those states unclaimed. So we're going to start tomorrow by trying to claim New England. So Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and then maybe New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine. But those states are really sticky to get to, so we'll have to see about that. Um, so like, yeah, where would be useful? Birmingham, not useful. Austin, you want to go home? Over. Albany, I believe it's six. So that's in New York, and then it's not easy to get to. It's not easy to get to like Connecticut from there. I think we're. I don't think we have anything. I think we're hunkering down until tomorrow. This sucks so hard. I guess let's just plan for tomorrow. Yeah. And that is a beautiful looking map. <laughs> Not looking good for them, is Not it? Not looking good for them. Okay, so Brian and I spent like an hour researching and planning with a focus on getting to New Haven, Connecticut, where we shipped our card. The bottom line was there were no good options. Instead, we had to go with the least bad option, which was the one to uh, it's to Windsor Locks Airport, which is 40 minutes away from New Haven. And we can get to to New Haven by like 11:15. Is that is that the move? I think so. I think like our main priority now has to be to get another card in your hand to give us more options. And I don't think they'll be going to Connecticut. We're feeling pretty good about tomorrow. Yeah, we can get to um, Connecticut as early as well, like 10.30 or so. Yeah. So, Sam has a lot of ground to make up, so uh, good luck to him. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. We gotta get the shuttle. We gotta get hyped for the shuttle. Back of the bus, because I'm a cool kid. You can't come back here. You can't hang with us. One time, I sat at the back of the bus, and, and a kid that was younger than me choked me. Very masked. And do you see this beard? That's all testosterone. OK. Back to New York. All right, step away this way. Okay. Okay, so there's a train tomorrow morning at 8.03 that we really want to take, but it leaves from Grand Central, and we're in Penn Station. So we have 15 minutes to get from here to there. Huh. Perfect timing. Thanks. All right, we have 10 minutes, so we just gotta 
basically pick our spot for tomorrow. How about how about this bench? I like this bench. Right Ooh, next no, to this, this is not a comfortable bench. Five minutes. This is Grand Central Terminal. Two minutes to get to the main area. Oh wait, no. Oh, no, Ben, this is the basement. This is the basement. Here we go. Okay. Welcome to the main terminal of Grand Central Station. What time is it, Sam? Is it 8 p.m. yet? Yes. Don't lie to me. Yes. Don't lie to me. It's 8 p.m. We've made it, Brian. Is it actually 8 p.m. or are you just saying that for the camera? No, it's actually 8 p.m. It says it's 5 to 8 on my watch, you liar. The New Haven Line Departure Board is right here. Tomorrow we'll be standing right in front of this departure board, waiting to find out what track we're supposed to get on. But yes, let's go to sleep. I'm operating on two hours sleep. I need... Yeah, I'm exhausted and I had a full night's sleep, so I can't imagine how exhausted you are. Graphic, go to sleep, bye-bye. Now, it's the rest period. At 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, both teams stop exactly where they are, go somewhere to sleep, and then return to that exact spot at 8 a.m. Eastern the next day. In this game, the rest period gets one hour shorter every day, so tomorrow it'll start at 9 p.m. Eastern, then 10 p.m., then 11 p.m. And now, through the magic of editing, it's 8 a.m. the next day. Okay, it's 8 a.m. Uh, our train is on track one It's this way, it's this way. It's this way. Oh, we can't miss this train. I don't know what that it's means. It's time, it's time, it's eight. Give me your mic. Unfortunately, it is on the lower level, which is less than ideal. 109, okay, that wasn't too far. And so the second we get to Connecticut, the second we land, we really have to rush because one thing I was realizing that I think we just kind of failed to properly consider yesterday is the possibility that they just got on a train north. If they did that, they could get to Connecticut early, but then they're down to the luck of the draw of a challenge. So I think it could be quite close. Train's still here. That's good. Woo. This is one ugly train. Let's go. Yeah, they're ugly. Our aircraft is there, but it's now showing like 20 minutes delay leaving, which is not amazing. Nothing is going your way. Anyway, it's not that bad, as long as it doesn't get delayed more. Well, like, like 20 minutes could be the difference between them getting it. And it's good. Time. Yeah, but we'll see. Okay, we have made it onto the train to New Haven, Connecticut. It's about a two hour train. It's, sure. it's a slow train. Yeah, we had a very exciting first three minutes of the day, and now we're gonna have a very boring Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> hopefully Sam and Brian will do something interesting in this time. Yep, well, hopefully it's not claiming New England. Right, that would be bad. That would be very bad for us. We are respecting the weirdest roadside attraction, which in Connecticut is the Hez Visitor Center. So the rules are as follows. We're gonna go to our Uber and I explain them. Visit the weirdest roadside attraction in your state. You must stand directly in front of it and salute for the entire duration of the national anthem. If it is possible to gain admission to the attraction, you must do so and spend at least 15 minutes there. And it is possible to gain admission to this attraction. So we're gonna have to spend 15 minutes there. But there's a train at 1040 that we would really love to take to Providence. I think it's gonna be really hard to make that, but it's possible. It's possible. Hurry, hurry, hurry inside. We have to spend 15 minutes inside. Oh, shoot, the visitor center's around the... Oh. No one's ever been in this much of a hurry to get to the Pez Center. Okay, we're inside. So we can leave? It's 10.12. We can leave the Pez Center at 10.27. Great, thank you. Wonderful. It's a big Pez. This rocks. Oh my God, that is Sam. Isn't that him? That's Sam. Brian reminds me of Popeye. Okay, that's interesting. Oh my God, they're making Pez. <gasps> look. It's magical. Ben, look, they're, there's, that's Pez. This, this rocks. This freaking rocks. 
You want to get a bucket of Pez? No, I want a dispenser of Pez. That's the whole point. Pez, Pez, Pez. You look amazing I'm, as Pez. I'm Pez. Would you buy this? Looks, uh, looks very f uh, phallic. All right, well, now I'm leaving. If, it's, if they don't claim Connecticut, then we're fine. We just yeah. continue with the plan. Yeah. If they do claim Connecticut, I think the move then, we're not far from the border of Massachusetts. So we could go quickly claim Massachusetts, probably before they could get to Massachusetts. The problem is that we cannot take an Uber over the border without a power up, which we don't have. So we'd have to take public transit. Luckily, I just checked. There's a train leaving like 35 minutes from a 10 minute Uber away. And not that train is not frequent to cross the border of Springfield. Mm -hmm. We're allowed to leave in one minute, but we still have to stand in front of the Pez Museum for the full length of the national anthem while saluting it. And then we have 12 minutes to get 13 minutes away and get on a train. That might not happen. All right, let's. All right, go, 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 go. Salute the Pez Center. Beautiful. All right, it's time to draw a new card. Weirdest roadside attraction goes out of the hand. And we get a power up. And our new card is... Break a law from crime spree. This run requires some explanation. On Nebula, the, the, the pilot season of Jet Lag the Game is called Crime Spree, where we put the 33 weirdest laws in the country on a map, and Sam went around breaking them. So we have to find one of the laws that Sam didn't break yep. and break it. So we'll need to, <laughs> we'll need to look at that map. We need to look into that. 10.40, it's still here. Track two, track two. Did it leave? Is the train to Boston, is it not here yet? Okay, awesome. Oh, we made it. We made it? Buy the tickets, buy the tickets. Oh my God, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's the call. Okay, remember, no reactions. Hey guys. Hey guys, we've claimed the great state of Connecticut. Congrats. Okay, we gotta go, bye. Bye. Okay, so that's terrible. So we need to get that train, right? How did they get here? Wait, the, the, don't, don't, don't worry about it, we need yeah. a rush. Are we getting that train? Yeah, yeah. That is terrible. I'm like genuinely pissed off that. Just every single thing is just not going our way. Yeah, I, I, we, it, I, we couldn't, I think we would have got it if it wasn't for the delay on the flight as well. I assume we'll just have to do the claw machine one. We'll have to find a claw machine. It's the only one we can do. Yeah, so whatever. And that sucks, because now our card is waiting for us in New Haven, just abandoned. And until we get that card back, not only can we no longer claim that card, now we only have six card slots in our hand. Mm -hmm. So, and then the other problem is like, they're probably going to Rhode Island next. You ordering the Uber? Yeah, there's nothing yet. They're probably going to Rhode Island next. And, uh, and then they once they were island, they can battle challenge Massachusetts. They still haven't claimed anything since 3 p.m. yesterday. So that's what, five? That's eight and a half hours of game time. Yep, Nothing. They've, they've been dropping the ball better yet. We've been having a fun conversation with the conductor of this train who doesn't want to be on video because he would be having too much fun. Um, and he gave us coffee. He gave us coffee for free. So we're in Windsor. We're going to Springfield. Oh, wait, Springfield does have service to Vermont. That could be important, because Vermont and Massachusetts, that borders New York. Guys, sorry about all this delay. Wait, somebody up there doesn't like it. Oh, look, it's Duncan. That's how you know we're in Massachusetts. By the way, welcome to Massachusetts, Brian. Thanks. I've never been here before. I always wanted to go to MIT, but it's too stupid. Hey, for Sam? 
Hey, how's it going? This is WNNZ AM 640 West Point. All right, we're looking for something called round one. Not Forever 21. We gotta be quick. Yes, we do. I already see claw machines, that's great. We need to get a card. Come on, baby. Thought I had it. Okay, that was bad. Come on. Come on, yes! Yes! You got it? I'm so happy, Sam. <laughs> I've never felt so jubilant in my life. We got a video. Send us a video. Hey, boys. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Coming up to you from our latest state. We've got a new mascot. Mama Massa. I need to work on that stutter, buddy. You're supposed to say the second bit. Chusets. 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 Oh. oh. Chusets. Okay. That's... We can go battle if we get Rhode Island. Oh, which is right here. So we gotta get off the train. Yeah, well, we're gonna oh, get- wait, wait, wait. They're gonna go to Vermont and try to challenge New York. Well, that's why we have to steal messages. Okay, we have to, we're gonna get Rhode Island as quickly as possible. Yep. And, and then we're going- In case going we haven't to... said what we're gonna do, we're gonna get drunk. We are gonna run off the train. I'm gonna get drunk as fast as possible. And then we are gonna get on the 1 p.m. Acela continuing on to Boston. So we are gonna have, I think, 35 minutes to get to a bar, get Ben drunk, get back to the train station and get on a train. So good luck to us. Brian, we need to be quick in our decision making, take advantage of that W. Take the top car. Oh, please God. It's Maybe gotta be good. good it's gotta be good. Build a raft. Oh my God. Well, it's doable anywhere, which is good, uh, but it, and it gets us a, a star, which is good. We do need the star. I think overall that that's pretty decent. But yeah, like, okay, let's just research like crazy. Do you think going to Rhode Island makes sense? Up we go. Oh, it's so pretty now. Oh, it is. Show everybody. It got pretty in front. That's a terrible town. shot. Get a better shot. You film what you want to film. What's it called? Harry's Bar and Burger. Is it that? Yeah, it's that. Oh, great. OK. There's a cow with horns outside of it. Howdy. Bar. Oh, bar. I just need to take four shots of whatever liquor you recommend as quickly as possible. OK, so despite claiming Massachusetts in literally two minutes, we then spent about a half hour researching and planning, and we were once again left with zero good options and two bad ones. The train line up to Vermont only runs once a day. Luckily, it stops in Springfield in less than two hours, but then there's the problem of getting out of Vermont, especially if we'd then be trying to get into New York to challenge it. We could use a power-up to drive there, but we don't have any power-up tokens right now. Second, the nearest airport is back in Hartford. But because the they own Connecticut, not us, we'd have to wait an hour for a train to get in. But there's a pretty well-timed flight from there to Nashville, Tennessee, where we could knock out the Bucky's card. But we basically have to seed the Northeast. So, what to do? What's your thinking? Flight to Nashville. I just don't see any other. Yeah. I don't think going up north is, with the cards we have, going up north. Yeah, I think I agree. I mean, we've seen how difficult it is just by being here, which is in like a big city, and we'd be yeah. going to smaller cities. Right. And we're doubling down on, on the problem we currently have. I think at this stage, we we are absolutely going to need the area bonus. Still. Okay, so this is the last major game element we haven't told you about yet. The area bonus. Whichever team claims the greatest area gets an additional two points at the end of the game. It's a big deal, and the way things are going, we're gonna need that bonus if we want a shot to win. Uh, but what we really need for that is Texas. Yeah, which is why I'm saying, like, as long as we're moving in that direction. Yeah. There's, there's flights like every hour from Nashville to like- There are in and outs in Texas. I think I agree. I think that we should cut our losses in the Northeast and fly down to Nashville. Should we go for it? I think so. 
All right, well, let's get back to uh, the Amtrak station then, I guess. Thank you very much. Shot number one, I'm gonna get silly. I'm drinking the branded water from our Uber driver. He has his own brand of water. He does? That's awesome. Thanks. All right. We got it. We're making great time. Three. <laughs> you okay? You okay? All right. All right, last one. Here you go. All right, we've claimed the state of Rhode Island, folks. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's get out of here. I just think we need to get out of here. I think, oh wait, I'm getting a call. Uh, that's weird. You okay? Yeah, it's so good. Hello, gentlemen. We are now the proud owners of the great state of Rhode Island, baby. Ben doesn't look too great. <laughs> He's drunk again, isn't he? Ben's gonna be fine. Shut the f up. I'll kill you. We're gonna attack Ben, can you, you walk in a straight line? Shut up. Hang up the phone. I don't want to see recite, him anymore. Recite the alphabet backwards, please. Good luck hanging on to Massachusetts. He's definitely drunk. Yeah. Brian, are you excited for more trains? I'm hungry and I'm losing. All right, you did that so fast that we can actually just walk back to the train station. That's gonna be good. Because I don't know that you could run right now. While we walk back to the train station, it's time to draw a new card. Oh God. Oh buddy, okay. I got them. All right, you want to draw the top one? That's what is it? it? That's it. What is it? Spell help in rocks on an island. We can find an island. I bet we could find an island. Travel to a landmass officially designated as an island anywhere on the island. Legibly spell the word help using rocks collected from the island. I like this card. Islands aren't that hard to get to, for the most part. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, um, here, can you come get in the frame? Our Amtrak conductor helped us out and called Amtrak and was able to split our ticket across New Haven to Providence and then Providence to Boston. And these are our special tickets. How you what doing? Thanks to Mike and Leon. Thank you. I'm very drunk. I know, I know you are. All right, I'm gonna go get Ben a bagel. While I do that, I'm just gonna hand Ben the camera and I'm gonna see what he does. Number one, victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, it's time to get down. Get down. 10 kills on the board right now. Just swept out to me. That's what. All right, we gotta, we gotta head to track two, buddy. We gotta go now. Come on. How you doing? Yes, Ella. Okay, so we're 20 minutes out from Boston. We're gonna declare the battle now so that it starts in 30 minutes once we are in Boston because we don't have a lot of time to wait around because we have to get on a flight at four. So we're gonna call them. I'm putting the, the microphone on the camera. Hang on, are we recording? Hey. Gentlemen, we hereby declare a battle in the great state of Massachusetts. I'm gonna f and kill you. Okay, well that was in a way perfect timing because that came in literally at 141, so exactly 30 minutes before we'll get off this train. At least we'll be able to compete. Yes. I'm doing so good, but my hand is really dirty. I saw how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Boston, buddy. What? 
Welcome to Boston, buddy. We're in Boston. I hate Boston. We've already gone over this. I think it's the worst city in America. Are we allowed to say that? All right, so we're not going to be in an amazing spot for this pile of things. They're going to be in downtown Boston. We're going to be in the middle of, like, nowhere. Basically, we managed to pull this off. It would be unbelievably lucky. We don't. Which we have not had a lot of luck with. Yeah. If we don't, we will continue our streak of L's, and we will be even further behind. And we will leave the East Coast with only two states. After two days. Yeah. That's not great. No. I mean, I definitely would not characterize our current stay in the game as great. There's nothing good in this city except for the aquarium, which is okay. <laughs> okay, you gotta delete your tweet. Ben did a tweet saying he was drunk. Shut up. Now he has to delete it. Ben's drunk tweeting on the train and giving us info, like confirming that he did the drunk challenge. And uh, this tweet well, has he, been deleted. He deleted, it. He deleted the tweet. Thank you. Thank you. All right. They should call any second now. All right. 211, call them. Hello. Hey, guys. All right, gentlemen. I'm going to draw the battle challenge. You prepared? All right. Are, are they properly shuffled? They are properly shuffled. Ben, pull the top cards. What is it? Photograph the most birds. Photograph the most birds. You have 15 minutes. All photographed birds must be clearly visible and must be actual birds. You cannot intentionally photograph the same bird twice. Oh, God. Photograph the most birds. OK. Uh, it's raining, and we're in the middle of a city, so I'm not feeling good about this. Bird. I mean, where would birds be? By they're going to be water or in a city, but they're just going to get all the f pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. OK, know. there's a bird right here right I in front of us. I photographed it. You photographed it? Got okay. it. One bird there. Um, Got that bird. Let's keep looking. Look for birds like perched on top of things. Oh! Bird. Bird. Yep, yep, I got it for got sure. It. No, I mean, I don't, I don't even see it. Birds a aren't bird. even real. Yeah, that's true. There's, not, there's literally not a bird in the sky. What the f? I hear birds. Oh, wait, wait. Shh. I, oh, hear I hear them too. I hear them too. Where are they? Birds. Okay, I got one. There's one right there. What if I kick the tree no, no, really no, 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 hard? No. How is there not a single bird? Literally not a single one. <sighs> Where are you, little shit? Boom, one. So that's nine birds. Oh, that bird. Oh! Bird. Got it, that's 10. We are so f I've taken one picture of a bird. There's a big bird. Big bird there. Just make sure you're really scanning these trees so don't miss any. Here, what's your best bird call to try to scare them away? <laughs> I, I didn't do it. <laughs> this is hopeless. Oh, I hate to be so pessimistic, but I'm just being realistic. There's a bird. Bird. I, bird alert. I don't, I don't have a clear shot of it. Bird alert. Bird alert. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. 16. 16, I mean, we're doing pretty good, I feel like. What are you at? One. Oh, see if the, see if the dog scares some birds. Oh, there's one. There's one. Get it, Brian. Get it, Brian. Get it. You got, got it? it? You got it? Got it. That's two. Nice job, Brian. Oh, wait, there's a second. Oh, that's no, it's a leaf. False alarm. Oh, oh there's, there's two pigeons. 18, 19, I got them. Oh, there's a bunch of birds right there. Bird town. Oh, and I've got him in pictures. That's one, two, central. three, four. Oh, there's another one. That's a big eagle. Oh, wow. Jeez. Oh, that's a, bal that's a bald eagle. That should get us extra points. That should totally get us extra points. That's a bald eagle. You see that? Look at that. It's literally a bald eagle. Ha-ha! <laughs> Not a goddamn bald eagle. Anyway, don't, don't get too it, distracted. We should have. <laughs> that is literally a bald eagle. It is literally a bald eagle, but we need to keep going. Is that a bird or a cup? Oh, that's a bird. That's a got bird. Got it. What about that bird? Got it. I think that's like around 29. That's three, right? That's three. I mean, the bald eagle should be worth 
fucking 50. <laughs> this is brutal. Oh, we just cannot. I mean, at this point, I'm wondering if we're just at this game. Let's hustle. Okay, I think there's six more minutes. Okay, we have uh, six minutes left. Uh, there, 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 Brian, there's a flock. Wait, there's so many over there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, in the sky, in the sky, in the sky. Go, 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 oh, go, go. So many. There's go. So many. Yes, sub. Yes. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I count at least 35. This, we, we might have, our luck might have just finally changed, Brian. All right, this is not gonna be a normal Nebula ad read because right in there we have 200 Nebula subscribers who are all watching episode three early. So right now I'm gonna show you what they thought of it. Here, let's go. Yeah. Questions. Are they getting off here? What's your quick, quick take opinion on episode three? Oh, it is incredible. I loved it. I love what these two are up to. Loved <laughs> Adam. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite episode of season three of season four of Jetlag? Well, my favorite. I guess I would have to say episode three. Oh, so they episode three, the one they can watch it, right? Like, like, redacted and redacted happened, which is really yeah, awesome. Yeah, which yeah, like yeah. redacted and redacted. Right. I think it was the best episode you guys have had on Jetlag so far. Wow. wow, it's a huge endorsement. Yeah. All right. Episode three was amazing. Subscribe to Nebula and you'll learn how Adam survived that vicious wolf attack. One of my favorite episodes so far. It was really funny. That's yes. awesome. What's your opinion on Nebula? Is it worth good. it? Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Yay. Yay. Yeah. When I came in here, before I saw episode three, I had one leg. Now I've seen episode two and three, I have two legs. Wow. Wow. And before I subscribed to Nebula, I had no legs. That's your, what was your opinion on episode three? That season two is better. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Brutal! All right, you heard it here first. Episode three, so good. Nebula, totally worth it. And you know what makes Nebula even more worth it is the best way to sign up for it. Because here's the thing, they run this crazy deal with CuriosityStream, where if you head to our link, curiositystream.com slash jetlag, any subscription you sign up for there, they'll throw any Nebula subscription for free for as long as you stay subscribed. And CuriosityStream, they have loads of good stuff. They're like a documentary and, and non-fiction show streaming site. Really good catalog of stuff, whole additional thing. And they're running this crazy sale right now, 42% off for uh, the subscription. And that means that if you get the annual subscription, that comes out to less than $12 a year, not per month, a year. It's less than $1 a month. So it's a crazy good deal. Two streaming sites for the cost of one. And you can watch the next episode of Jetlag right now. You can watch our Nebula exclusive after show. You can come to future exclusive Nebula events like this, which was amazing. And you can watch all the other stuff by all the other creators on Nebula. Uh, so head over to curiositystream.com slash Jetlag to sign up today. Thanks in advance for your support. And thanks for all these people for staying quiet because this was super intimidating. Yeah. Yeah.